Oh, so I can get you clearance. Thank you for Thank you. What up, y'all? So, this one's very, <laughs> very significant, okay? And it may be just for one person. Literally. Maybe just for one person. Um. But this is significant because this happened to me. Mm -hmm. um, at the same time. So you, oh, okay. So you know what? Whoever I'm talking to, you might be a part of my soul tribe. Because what I'm seeing is this happened at the same time. Literally at the same time. So, okay, so remember when I was telling you guys, right? Some months back, some months back I was telling you, but this happened last October around Halloween, okay? When I told you guys, I had that uh, somebody sent me, uh, sent some really strong death magic, right? Towards me. And that I was literally like deteriorating, right? Felt like overnight, right? Couldn't eat, couldn't, couldn't sleep, um, couldn't really do much of anything. And it was painful, right? But come to find out, okay, and this is for me and the person I'm talking to, okay, you died. You did die. Yeah, you did. You might not even know this, okay? Yes, sounds funny, sounds strange. But you did die, okay? You did die, okay? Two to two on my timer. The death magic that they sent you was so strong, right? Which makes sense because it was around Halloween. It was so strong that the only way, right, for it to run its course, right, was for God to allow your vessel to leave your body, right? That's what I'm saying. You might not even know that this happened. Duh. You might just think that you beat a near-death experience. Well, no, you really died. And your spirit left your body, okay? May have been maybe three, four, five minutes, maybe not even that, right? And God puts your spirit back in your body. And you were arisen, just like the Lord was, okay? Remember that verse that says you can drink any deadly poison and it will not kill you. If it's not your time to go, especially, especially if you were sent here for an important mission. Beloved, your mission is so important, so important that God pushed your spirit back into your body. And you rose again, just like Christ. As a matter of fact, saying that, I believe it was three minutes. Three. Like I said, it's ain't for everybody. Maybe for one person. I'm getting one person uh uh at least. It's one person for sure. Could be more, but it, I know it's one for sure. Okay. That magic had to run its course, right? That energy has to go somewhere, right? So when it did, God put you back in your body and rose you back up, okay? This could have happened while you were sleeping, for for from a timer, right? If you have no recollection of it, it could have happened when you were asleep. Yeah, okay? How many instances in the Bible 
<laughs> did she did, were people raised from the dead? Like Lazarus? Like, come on. That was in there four days. Body stinking, rotten, and and rose him back up from the dead. And told him to come. And he came up out of that grave. Well, sepulcher or wherever they called it back then. Uh, uh, like a cave you roll a stone over, right? So, no man, no entity, no anything is going to take you up out of here before it's your time to go. It's Especially if you have a mission, a mission as important as yours, as mine, as every other child of God. Until it's our time, until we complete what we're here to do, we're not going anywhere. We're not going anywhere. You get me? All right. And since then, you've been dying and being re being reborn over and over and over again. Every time you ascend, you're dying and you're being reborn again. But who I'm talking to, it happened quite literally for us. <laughs> quite literally for us, okay? Uh, but yes, every time that you ascend, right? You are dying and you are being resurrected again. All right, beloved, you don't know how significant you are. You really don't. You really don't. You don't know how significant and important you are to God. Whether you whether you think so or not, you don't know how important you are to God. Whether anyone else thinks so or not, <laughs> they know now how important you are to God. That is a surety. That is of a surety. They know how important you are to God and how much God loves you. They know now. Absolutely. It's a part of their hate for you. How when you pray, God is coming in on a white horse. When you call out to the heavens, it opens up for you. And the heavens speak back to you. Do you get me? Okay, the earth moves for you. Know how significant you are. Learn your importance. Bask in it. Bask in your importance. How important you are. Sit there and really think about that. Let that process. Think about it. If you think about being a prince in a palace, your father's the king. Think about how important your role is being the prince. Because one day you're going to be king. Not taking your father's place, right? And this is the instance because our father is the most high God. But you get what I'm saying, right? A prince knows that he is the king's son. Which means he knows his authority. He knows his importance to that kingdom. You get me? 9-11 on my timer. So... Think about your life in the same way. Because you're of the highest royalty. None of this earthly royalty. You're of the highest royalty. There's nothing higher than that. Nothing. Okay. God has made your enemies your footstool. You sit at <laughs> nah, nah, I go. <laughs>
I'm gonna leave it there. <laughs> I was about to say something funny, but it might not have been funny to a lot of other people. <laughs> I don't want to offend nobody. Anyway, I love y'all, beloved. All right. Um, know your worth. All right. Know how important you are. Know how valuable you are. All right. Not only to to uh, uh, other people, but to God. All right. All right. I love y'all. Talk to y'all later. I won't nothing deadly kill you. Nothing. <laughs>